Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineer's Blueprint. In today's video, we're diving into the essential software every civil engineering student needs to master to boost their career prospects. Whether you're a first year student or close to graduation, this software will give you an edge in academics and your professional life. First up, AutoCAD by Autodesk, the industry standard for 2D and 3D CAD design. AutoCAD is critical for drafting layouts, plans, and sections. You'll use it to create detailed drawings of buildings, figure out where all the pipes and wires go, and even model the terrain for roads and bridges. And the best part? As a student, it's free with an educational license. But here's the thing about AutoCAD. It's powerful, but it's not exactly drag and drop easy. You gotta put in the time to learn the ropes. Pro tip time. First up, master the basics of layers, dimensioning and scaling. Layers are key for keeping your drawings organized. Dimensioning ensures everything is the right size. And scaling? That's how you shrink those massive buildings down to fit on a piece of paper. My second pro tip, learn to work with plugins. Plugins are huge time savers, especially on those big, complex projects. So, there you have it. AutoCAD, your trusty sidekick on your journey to becoming a civil engineering rockstar. Next is Revit. And let me tell you, this isn't just another design software. This is next level stuff. Revit focuses on building information modeling, or BIM for short. Revit enables you to create intelligent 3D models packed with data. These models aren't just pretty pictures, they're packed with data. Revit's models are dynamic, meaning they update as changes are made. Let's say you need to move a wall in your design. In Revit, you just move the wall and boom, all the related drawings, schedules, and even cost estimates update automatically. Pro tip time. First up, get familiar with the 3D modeling tools in Revit. Spend time mastering the tools for creating walls, doors, windows, roofs, stairs, the works. My second pro tip, learn how to use Revit's collaboration tools. Revit allows multiple people to work on the same model simultaneously, which is huge for efficiency. You can track changes, communicate with team members, and avoid those dreaded design conflicts. So, dive into those collaboration features and get ready to work together like a well-oiled engineering machine. All right, let's talk structures. If you're going into structural engineering, Start.Pro by Bentley is your new best friend. This software is a powerhouse for analyzing and designing structures. We're talking buildings, bridges, towers, you name it, Start.Pro can handle it. Start.Pro helps engineers figure out how to design that bridge so it can handle all those forces without collapsing. Pro tip. Time. First up, practice using STAD Pro for basic beam, column, and truss designs. Start with the fundamentals. Learn how to model a simple beam, apply loads to it, and analyze the stresses and deflections. Once you've mastered the basics, you can move on to more complex structures like trusses and frames. My second pro tip experiment with different load scenarios to understand how structures respond to real-world forces. Apply wind loads, seismic loads, even impact loads. The more you experiment, the better you'll understand how different factors affect a structure's behavior. And that, my friends, is invaluable knowledge for any aspiring structural engineer. All right, let's talk buildings. And when it comes to building design, ETABS is a name you'll hear a lot. ETABS is another powerful software for structural analysis, specifically tailored for building design. What sets ETABS apart is its user-friendly interface. ETABS simplifies the process of modeling multi-story buildings. But don't let the user-friendly interface fool you. ETABS is still a powerful tool for analyzing complex structures. Pro tip time. First up, get comfortable with ETAB's floor diaphragm and slab modeling tools. These tools are essential for accurately representing how floors and slabs behave in a building. My second pro tip, use ETAB's to compare results with STAR. Pro to deepen your understanding of structural behavior. 
Both software programs are great for structural analysis, but they have their own strengths and weaknesses. By comparing the results you get from both programs, you can get a more comprehensive understanding of how different software approaches the same problem. It's like getting a second opinion from a structural engineering expert. Chapter 5. SAP 2000. Unleashing your design versatility. SAP 2000 is a general-purpose structural analysis software developed by CSI. SAP 2000 can handle a wide range of structures. It's especially valuable for engineers interested in complex geometries or non-traditional materials. SAP 2000 is powerful, but it's also got a bit of a learning curve. Pro tip time. First up, learn the non-linear analysis options in SAP 2000 to broaden your design capabilities. Linear analysis is great for a lot of situations, but sometimes you need to account for more complex behaviors like material non-linearity or geometric non-linearity. SAP 2000 has a range of non-linear analysis options that let you model these complex behaviors with greater accuracy. My second pro tip, experiment with different materials to understand how SAP 2000 handles different scenarios. Don't just stick to steel and concrete. Try modeling structures with timber, masonry, even glass. Each material has its own unique properties, and SAP 2000 can help you understand how those properties affect a structure's behavior. Chapter 6. Primavera. P6. Mastering Project Management. Designing a mind-blowing skyscraper is awesome, but if you can't manage the project effectively, it's all for nothing. That's where Primavera P6 comes in, the project management software that keeps civil engineering projects on track. Primavera P6 is a powerful tool for scheduling and managing large projects. It helps engineers break down complex projects into smaller, more manageable tasks. You can create detailed schedules, assign resources to each task, and track the progress of the entire project in real time. Pro tip. Time. First up, practice creating detailed schedules and assigning resources in Primavera P6. Start with a simple project, like building a house or a small bridge. Break down the project into smaller tasks, estimate the duration of each task, and assign resources like labor, materials, and equipment. The more you practice, the better you'll become at creating realistic and manageable schedules. My second pro tip. Learn how to perform risk analysis and resource leveling in Primavera P6. Risk analysis is all about identifying potential problems that could derail your project. Resource leveling ensures you have the right resources available at the right time to keep your project moving smoothly. Chapter 7. Civil 3D. Designing the future of infrastructure. When it comes to designing massive infrastructure projects, Civil 3D is the software you want in your arsenal. Civil 3D is Autodesk's answer for civil engineering design, specifically for infrastructure projects. It's built on the familiar AutoCAD platform, so if you're already comfortable with AutoCAD, you'll feel right at home in Civil 3D. Civil 3D is powerful for handling large-scale projects with complex terrain. It's packed with tools for creating alignments, profiles, and corridors, which are essential for designing roads, railways, and pipelines. Pro tip time. First up, master the alignment, profile, and corridor tools for road and railway designs. Learn how to create alignments that follow the natural contours of the land, design profiles that meet design standards, and generate corridors that accurately represent the entire roadway or railway. My second pro tip, learn how Civil 3D's grading tools work for terrain modeling. Grading is the process of moving earth to create a desired ground surface. Civil 3D has powerful grading tools that let you create complex grading designs, calculate earthwork volumes, and even generate 3D visualizations of the finished product. Mastering these tools will make you a grading guru in no time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more civil engineering content. And let me know in the comments 
Which software are you excited to learn next? Is it AutoCAD, the industry standard, or maybe Revit with its incredible BIM capabilities? Let me know. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.